Hello and welcome to Engineering Ethics and JIT. I'm your instructor Daniel Strada, and this is the final lecture video for the semester. Um, lesson 15, we're doing some course uh, wrap-up, um, some final thoughts. Um, but you've done it. You've uh, accomplished uh, everything that we're going to learn this semester. Um, there's one more assignment to do, but uh, we're we're through the um, we're through the semester. Congratulations. Um, let's go ahead and jump into the uh, lecture slides. Yeah, so like I said, lesson 15 is wrap up and final thoughts. Um, you still have lesson 14 replies to do, your lesson 15 post. Um, there's a, a lesson 15 attendance word, which is ethics. Um, there's also the extra credit essays that are posted at the top of Moodle. Um, all your due dates are on Moodle uh, for these assignments. Um, unlike normal lessons, there's no quiz, there's no replies required for lesson 15, and there's no final exam uh, for lesson 15 or, or afterwards. Uh, lesson 15 final thoughts is, is your last uh, post is your final assignment for the semester um, In your final assignment, I'd like you to go over uh, what you think you learned in the semester uh, uh, What were to you the most important lessons? Um, the most important cases What will stick with you the most uh, when the semester is over? Um, I'd also like you to go back to lesson one and reread your expectations for the course um, I asked you to uh, talk about what you think you'd learn in the semester. So look at your expectations. Were your expectations met? Were you surprised by anything that you learned over the semester? Um, has your perspective changed at all as an engineer, as a student, um, as a person, uh, as someone who's uh, trying to be ethical? Um, has your perspective changed in any important ways, or has it stayed the same? Um, has your perspective been reinforced in any particular ways? Um, what were your favorite lessons of the semester? Um, uh, what affected you the most? Uh, you know, maybe what did you talk about the most with your friends or family um, from the cases that we uh, looked at? Um, and one final thing, I'd like you to answer the skeptic. So a lot of students come into engineering ethics with very low expectations, um, not thinking engineering ethics is worth the time, um, thinking that they know everything there is to know about right and wrong anyway, uh, and besides that, people are going to lie and cheat and steal no matter what we do. So why bother learning ethics? Why, why, why bother spending a semester uh, with this sort of humanities course uh, where you're really just writing and, and so on, um, when you could be spending this time doing other things, maybe some things that are more important to your career, right? So wh why, uh, how would you answer the skeptic, someone who's skeptical in these ways, uh, someone who doesn't think that engineering ethics is worth the time? You know, I get a lot of cheaters every semester um, and uh, my, my sense is that students cheat in this class because they don't take it very seriously, because they don't think ethics needs to be taken very seriously. And of course that worries me as a teacher, as a, someone teaching engineering ethics. So what do you say to these students? Um, why is engineering ethics worth your time? Um, I'm looking forward to reading your final posts. Uh, they're always very interesting. A uh, bit, uh, bit of feedback apart from the formal uh, course evaluations. So um, write up your final post. Uh, your final post, uh, I should warn you, is, let me go back here, is worth uh, as much as a normal lesson, so 100 points. Uh, uh, so make sure you do your final post, especially if you're worried about your grade. Um, if you're right on the border, that final, 50, 50, uh, the final 100 points can be a big deal, uh, the difference between uh, letter grade for some students. Um, if you're worried about your grade, uh, here's how you calculate your final grade. This is all information in the syllabus, but just add up your points on Moodle, um, in the grades on Moodle. Uh, the total uh, course is at a 1,600 points. Um, that doesn't include extra credit or attendance. You can get more than 1,600 points with extra credit and attendance. Um, and then the grade scale is here. You have to have, to have above a 1,440 um, in order to get an A. Uh, the syllabus allows for a five-point wiggle room, so if you're at 1,435, um, I'll give you the bump to an A. Um, instead of a B plus, but uh, it's only five points of wiggle room, um, and there's a lot of extra credit, so I'm not afraid of giving people low grades depending on uh, your score. Um, another thing is don't bother going back and completing old assignments that you haven't finished, you haven't uh, gotten grades for. Um, if it's past the late period, I'm not going to accept those assignments. They don't get credit by the syllabus policy. Um, the exception to this is if you have a legitimate excuse, excused by the dean or that we've talked about an extension already, um, then that stuff will get graded. Uh, see the syllabus po uh, policy for more details on those late assignments. But the short answer is if we, if we don't already have something worked out and you don't have a legitimate excuse, don't do the old assignments. I really feel bad for the students who do them because they don't get credit. 
Um, if you're missing grades, uh, if you go back through Moodle and you see that some things haven't been graded, uh, send me an email. Um, please include a link to the to the assignment where you think you're missing the grade so I can quickly change it. Um, I teach several classes, uh, sections of this class. Uh, so if you just tell me, hey, I'm missing a grade, and you don't tell me who you are or what class you're in or where you're missing that grade, it can be difficult to find. Um, so try to send me a link to the discussion forum post where your uh, grade is missing. Um, remember, the, the grade is the little ratings underneath your posts on Moodle, so I can find it there. Uh, uh, just a few last things. Uh, remember, you can do the course evaluations already on Moodle. Um, the course evaluations help me uh, improve the course. They also help me get hired every year. So I'm not a tenured professor at NJIT. I'm a staff lecturer, um, and I have a yearly appointment, which means every year I get rehired. Uh, I have a yearly contract. Um, and so that means that they do uh, constant evaluations of how well I'm doing uh, in, in, in school, uh, how the students think I'm doing, and that goes into whether I get hired or not. So uh, fill in those course evaluations, uh, knowing that they uh, that administrators make uh, hiring decisions, especially over the little bubbles that you fill in. Uh, fill in the bubbles for the administrators. Um, but in order to improve this course, to improve this course, um, I'm always making changes to the course. Uh, this semester, uh, I've redone all the lecture slides and I've recorded new videos, which is a lot of work. Uh, this is partly why my lecture slides and videos have been uh, a little bit late this semester. I usually like to put them out uh, a week in advance, but this semester they've been late because I've been redoing everything. Uh, future sections of this course will appreciate it, uh, but you all had to deal with uh, some of the delays, uh, and I thank you for your patience. Um, any other uh, suggestions or comments you have to help improve this course for future NGIT students. Uh, several hundred students go through this exact course every uh, semester, so um, suggestions you make will uh, affect the lives of lots of future NGIT students. Um, I'm always making uh, small adjustments to the uh, material I teach in the course. Um, some of you have caught mistakes that I've made in the videos. Uh, the Rana Plaza collapse um, was in Bangladesh, not in India. Uh, I, I make, uh, I, I apologize for these mistakes, I'm not perfect. There's, I'm sure, plenty of mistakes uh, and uh, uh, there's a little embarrassing things in these videos. Uh, I can definitely improve the videos uh, for future semesters and I plan to take out all these mistakes and sort of tighten up the videos. Um, I also planned to uh, tinker with the material, with the readings, um, with the assignment structure, so any suggestions you have will be appreciated. Um, if you like the course, I teach other courses at NGIT. I teach uh, STS-351, uh, Minds and Machines. This is a philosophy of mind course. We talk about consciousness, um, uh, how the mind works. We talk a little bit about the history of philosophy. Um, and then I teach uh, the senior seminar, HSS 405, on artificial intelligence and autonomy. This is basically my lesson 12, 13, and 14 uh, class broken, uh, blown up to an entire semester. Um, this is a senior seminar. Uh, we also talk about f the free will debate um, and some other issues related to autonomy. Um, both classes are a lot of fun. Uh, they're different from this class for sure, but uh, if you're interested in some of the material here uh, or if uh, you, you just want to take another class with me, um, those are the classes to look at. Um, you can also follow me on social media. I'm uh, constantly on Facebook p uh, posting about robots um, and Twitter. Um, I have my YouTube channel. Um, I have a, a Robot Rights Now Facebook group. Um, that I'm posting to. Uh, most of my posts are public, so you should be able to follow me without friending me if that makes you uncomfortable. Um, uh, I probably won't friend anyone uh, who follows me until after the semester your grades are in, but uh, feel free to engage me on social media and send me uh, links to things that you find that are interesting about it. engineering ethics, if there are news items or articles that you read uh, that you think would be useful in this course. Um, send them my way, and I've, I've incorporated this stuff into my classes before. Um, um, and it helps to uh, stay in contact with old students and, and see, see, uh, uh, see how you develop, how your career goes. Um, thank you very much. Um, we're done with the semester. I want to uh, thank uh, everyone this semester, again, in particular for uh, patience um, while I'm making the videos and the new lecture slides. Also with this new assignment system that we've been testing out, which has been kind of uh, uh, nightmarish, I'll, I'll say. Um, I, 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 um, uh, I, I know it uh, can be confusing. Uh, I know there's a lot of work here, um, so I appreciate everyone's contributions. Uh, to the discussion forum, um, the conversation is very interesting. Uh, I, I really love teaching this class every semester. Um, 
I feel like I have a big impact on NJIT, and NJIT is definitely having a big impact on me through this course. Um, staying in contact with all of you is uh, uh, it, it's a great pleasure. Um, I learned a lot. Thank you very much. Um, good luck with the rest of your finals. Uh, have a great semester. Um, have a good uh, after your semester is over. Um, see you around. Bye.